Airplanes are meant to take us places, and few are more versatile at doing that than the Quest Aircraft Kodiak, a beefy single-engine turboprop at home in backcountry and at the busiest airports. The Bureau of Land Management owns millions of square miles of land in the desert southwest, and a Kodiak's a great way to explore that vast remoteness, which is how we find ourselves descending into Mineral Canyon for a touchdown on a 2,000-foot dirt strip next to the Green River. The airplane loves to fly slow. Uh, that was It's a stole airplane, that's what it was built for. So to land on a 2,000-foot strip at a, at a decent altitude, I think we're around 4,000 feet, it's, it's no issue. It doesn't have any bad habits when it's slow. In fact, it, it has nothing but good habits because of the design of the wing. So uh, you bring the power back, full flaps, 35 degrees is full flaps. And then you, you keep it right about 80 knots, 75, 80 knots until you're on you know, fairly short final. And then you, you bleed the airspeed off in a, a short strip like this, I'll touch down at about 65. And while this is a unique experience for us, it's just another day at the office for Nick Lamoro. Director of Operations for Redtail Air Tours of Moab, Utah. We operate 10 airplanes, provide scenic flights over the National Park, provide river shuttles to and from the Colorado Rivers, Green Rivers, charter service. One of the things I like about it is it reminds me of a diesel truck in some ways. It doesn't really matter if you're towing or going uphill. It, it just gets up and goes. Of course, that versatility didn't just happen. The Kodiak was purpose-built for flying in out-of-the-way places. Uh, there was a lot of humanitarian and mission organi organizations uh, that were flying 206s and a lot of piston-driven airplanes, and they needed something that ran on jet fuel, had more efficiency, uh, that had more carrying capability with the same stole-type performance. And fittingly, we went to where there was no runway at all and landed anyhow on a salt flat. And of course, after all that work, food becomes a necessity, and the guides from outdoor adventure company Navtech did not disappoint. They whipped up an amazing meal at the campsite they had prepared. And what's great after a big meal, but amazing entertainment? Guide Vlad Dandu pulled out his well-worn accordion to entertain us with Romanian folk songs. So here we are, hours by land from the nearest community, enjoying an experience that only general aviation can bring. What's not to like about that?